What's up YouTube, Drinkwater here. Coming back with another cooking video. This time we will be making a chicken spaghetti. Um, it's a little, oh sorry, chicken sausage spaghetti. It's a little bit different of a variant, but it's a uh, really, really nice, uh, very, very good. So if you ever wanted to learn how to cook a chicken sausage spaghetti, you have found the right video and the right channel. Stay tuned and Mr. Tom Wilhelm will show you how to do it. Action, okay, we're back. Um, Tag Live, we're gonna make a chicken sausage spaghetti. Um, comments is white sweet onion, green pepper, yellow pepper, celery, jalapeno, shallots, green onion, some tomatoes, sausage, either Italian sausage or smoked sausage, fresh garlic, and cut up chicken breast, Ooh. marinated with some olive oil, salt, pepper, black ground pepper. Right. And more seasoning after you start cooking it. You cook all your condiments till they're translucent in virgin olive oil. You got oregano, bay leaves, Tony Satri, some more garlic salt, stewed tomatoes, tomato paste, rotel, give it a little spice, hop, and your tomato sauce, and your Italian seasoning. So, here we go, we got the oil already hot. We start adding our condiments. Roger. Got a magnified pot here. Put the onions on in there. Green pepper. Yellow. Yellow pepper. Celery. Man, that looks so good. Tomatoes. I wish you guys could smell this. Oh, man. Jalapenos. We'll put the garlic in at the end. Because okay. we don't want to burn the garlic, so you do that later. Roger. Just a little spoon. Nice little design here. It's got a flat end there. That is nice, huh? Smash it on down. So from here, we're just going to... We're um, just going to cook it on down and see it about 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes when we cook it on down. Then we'll add our garlic, and then we'll uh, sear our chicken in it. And then after that, we'll put our sauce, paste to thicken it up, and cook it at a low heat about two, three hours. And of course, we'll have to add a little bit of sugar to cut out the acidity. Roger that. Sounds great. So we'll see you whenever the vegetables are sweated. We're back. We cooked all the uh, essentials, all your peppers, onions, tomatoes, cooked down so they're pretty much translucent. Now sweated them. Sweated them on down. And we add our garlic. Put all that good stuff in there. And then we just put our chicken on in there. I think, I think you better than that, that Paul Perdue guy. And then we just get it on in there and turn it around and cook it on down. And then add sausage, your spices later, and your tomato sauce, and your paste. So how long would this step be? This sir? chicken right here, we're going to cook this down about 15, 20 minutes, and then after that we're going to put our tomato sauce, our tomato paste, a rotel, and, se and uh, seasoning to taste, oh, okay. and some stewed tomatoes, and uh, you know, your sauce, and your basic... And the uh, sausage you know, goes in last? Yeah, the sausage. And, and why is that? Why, why would you do that? The sausage already, uh, it's a smoked sausage, it's already cooked. So you don't have to cook it that much. If you cook it too much, it's gonna just dissolve. So you want to put that in like your last half. So you really could. You really could. Use Italian sausage or Cajun smoked sausage. We're going with a little Cajun sausage in there. You know, give it a little smoke. So, uh, chef, in almost any recipe, if you put the, your sausages in too early, you can boil out all the flavor. Oh yeah, you boil out all the flavor, and then it'll just be all flaky, and it won't even be consistency because the smoked sausage is already cooked. You're just warming it up. Great. So right now we're just cooking the chicken on down. Now give it a little brown color, see that? Sear it a little bit and keep the juices. I took a four chicken breasts, I deboned them. They're pretty large. You can use uh, dark meat and you can just use uh, chicken breasts. I prefer chicken breasts. Uh, you can use boneless, but it's cheaper just to get the big breasts or cut up a chicken and just debone it. And that's what I did with this one right here. It's just cut up the chicken breasts, cut the bone out of it. Roger that, see if you. Smothering on down and just cook it. Steer it so it doesn't stick on the bottom of your pot. This is a good Magnolite. It's one of the best pots that you can get, and uh, I recommend it. I recommend the uh, black iron skillet, black iron cast iron pot, and I prefer, um, prefer the Magnolites also. Yeah, Magnolites. Really Magnolites are very, very good. Very, very good. Yes, sir. All right, see you in a few. Okay. All right, everybody. We cooked our chicken down. We seared it, so it's got a good little color to it. 
Now we will add our stewed tomatoes. We already have some tomatoes in there. We're going to add some sauce. And we're going to add some tomato paste to thicken it up. Yeah. Tell. For a little bit more spice. Give you a little more spice, more tomato flavor. And we're going to steer this, put it on in there. Like that, it'll thicken up. Oh my with goodness. With all the tomatoes and all the goodness. There we go. And if you have to, we could add another can of sauce. And it depends how much can of sauce you want with it. And then we'll put a cover on it, like so. Put it at uh, a low heat. Fork. And just, and just, and just let it go. steer it every so often, about every 10 15 minutes, you come to your pot, you steer it, and you can add water to thin it, you can add more paste to thicken it, and if you want it saucy, you can add another can of tomato sauce. If you want it thick, just leave it the way it is. And the last 30 40 minutes, we will add our, uh, our smoked sausage. We already have oregano in there, put a couple bay leaves on in there. Okay, so, good, good. Throw a couple of these bad boys in there. It's going to be fine. Get a little Italian seasoning we put in here. And that's about it. Season to taste. We just let it cook for a period of time. Okay, everybody, we're back. This is about 10 minutes ago. This is the base of your. Uh, chicken spaghetti. If you want to, you can add the smoked sauces later. We uh, try to do that on here, give it a little Cajun flavor. Um, right now, I just tasted it, and we're going to add a little more crushed black pepper to it, give it a little more flavor. We are going to add a little Tony Saturi in there. We already have the bay leaves in there. We got some Italian seasoning. We're going to add just a tad of oregano in there. And you want to add about a tablespoon a spoon of sugar. That's going to help cut out the acidity and it's going to give it a better flavor. So and better flavor and cut down on the heartburn. And definitely cut down on the heartburn. Yes. Okay, great. Acidity. So there we go. It's all cooking right there. We got it at about a four and a five. I put my cover on and uh, we will see you later. In about two hours it should be done. I'm going to steer it every 15, 20 minutes so it doesn't stick on the bottom. If you want to, you can put like a piece of aluminum foil grating on there so then it won't really burn that bad. But I'm right here so I got no place to go. And I'll see you guys later. Okay, we finished cooking our spaghetti chicken style with sausage. And uh, How long has that been there, Chef, roughly? In an hour and a half, two hours. Woo. Cook down. No, I've been waiting on it. Now we add the sausage right there. We're going to cook this for another 10, 15 minutes on a low heat. And then serve. And then we're going to serve it over some spaghetti. All right. So whenever we come back, we'll have it all plated up. Uh, and we'll have a nice little presentation for you. Show it to you on a plate. Cook some spaghetti. And that'll be that. And action. Thanks. Okay, everyone. We're back. Your uh, chicken sausage spaghetti. A little spice. A little shallots, chives. Wow. And on top, a little garlic bread. That and looks beautiful. Salad and nice glass of wine. You'll be good to go.